so hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you seen by the title today's video is a feminine hygiene video i honestly realized today that i haven't done one for this year and that's quite shocking because that's not me like i'm always on my feminine hygiene game like personally and i have a lot to share so i'm always wanting to share so i don't know the reason why i just kind of skipped my head for this year i have a couple feminine hygiene videos i'm going to link them in the description box below generally i make these videos to share feminine hygiene tips that you might know you might not know or maybe you knew at some point you were doing it at some point and then you kind of dropped it i make these videos to remind you to pick it back up to tell you what's working for me what's not working for me give you my tips my tricks to different things because as women we always have similar feminine hygiene issues or feminine issues in general so let's go to hear from a fellow woman what she's doing to keep herself together to keep herself looking good smelling good feeling good being happy and all that because obviously when you take care of yourself as a woman you feel good your confidence and your self-esteem goes completely up and also these videos are primarily for people who are just starting their feminine hygiene journey as well you might be younger and not really sure what you should do this is the video for you now let's jump right into the video the first thing i want to talk about is cosadil cosadil is a mouthwash and i'm pretty sure you've heard of it i used to use listerine before and i think i've shared that in my videos but now i use cosadil and i started using cosadil earlier this year it was recommended by a doctor friend of mine because i complained i have bleeding gums and sensitive gums right so he recommend cosadil because he's been using it and it's been working wonders for him i started using it and it has changed my oral hygiene routine like for life i now don't have the issues that i usually used to have in the past when it comes to my gums inflamed irritated all that kind of stuff cosadil is the way to go now i have two things with this first you have to talk to a professional about it complain let them kind of examine your teeth your gums and whatever it could also be underlying illnesses that you might have or some type of infection that may be causing your gums to be irritated or bleed because i don't think cosadil is like a regular mouthwash well correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think it is so you might need to speak to a professional first before you start using it for me i spoke to my friend and he's a doctor and he knows my concerns so he recommended it so yeah i'm good and the second thing is it doesn't have the greatest taste like it doesn't really taste nice to be honest the first time i tried it it completely killed my taste board or my taste palette the entire day it has a very distinct and interesting i was trying to be for a good word aftertaste when you first use it you don't really feel it it's like the after Aftermath of it, that's when it hits you. To be honest, you might not want to use it again because it doesn't taste good. But what I've known is like the medications and all them things that don't really smell the best or taste the best are the ones that work best for you. And to be honest, it's working for me. So I'll definitely recommend. And obviously, you get used to it because I'm used to it. I love it and I definitely recommend it. But please, please, please speak to a professional because your issues might not be something that Cosadil can fix, right? But yeah. Cosadil is a way to go. Cosadil. Cosadil. Cosadil? I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. It's also on the screen, so you're going to see it. And the second thing on my list is always having a feminine wipe or a baby wipe at least with you daily and this is because you need it just in case you want to freshen up throughout the day especially when you're in your monthly when you're in your monthly delicate times you always need to freshen up at least four hours after you know the stuff is overflowing right you have to change your sanitary towel or sanitary pad whatever it is four hours and at that four hour mark you have to freshen up like you have to freshen up right you have to clean up even if you're not on your monthly always have a feminine wipe or baby wipe i honestly lean towards baby wipes more than i lean towards like feminine wipes because our bodies and ph balance and things like that i don't want anything like specifically throwing it off so i always lean towards baby product when it comes to <laughs> down there most of the time and baby wipes are best for that because obviously they are pure they're more natural and they are filled with water like they are packed with water Water. that's the main reason why i use baby wipes or baby things when it comes to that area now the third thing on my list is mixing your lotions and i put this in here because this is something that i personally do and i wanted to share just in case it might be useful for anyone struggling keeping up with like you know different lotions and oils and all that kind of stuff we're all not made the same we don't have the same patience or we don't know how to juggle products right what you can do is pretty much get your lotion get the oil and just mix them together and pour it into a different container and another thing that i usually do with 
which is really efficient for me and the main reason why this is even a point on this list is i mix my lotions for different seasons i have oils i have my lotion and then i also have sunscreen and yes you can layer your sunscreen so even if you have it in your lotion you can also put it on your body which is actually advised and recommended to be and that's what i do most of the time you know the days that you have where you cannot really like get everything you're just washing to put yourself together when you have a lotion that you have pretty much everything mixed on a daily basis it's easy to just rub and go right this is what mine looks like right now it's warmer outside it's almost summer like today it is hot hot outside what's in here is my body lotion body oil sunscreen and a perfume oil i use this also with my sunscreen but there are days that i am busy i woke up late or maybe i can't just do everything this is already mixed to go i'll definitely recommend that this is something that you can also do don't be afraid to mix your lotions with your sunscreen and your oils all in one bottle and it will save you a ton every day when you're about to step out now the fourth thing always have a refresh kit as a girl my refresh kit changes every time i'm going out because it depends on the size of the purse i'm going out with now what's in my refresh kit right i have a small perfume that is top like there is absolutely no way i'm stepping out of my house without out a small size perfume or a roller ball but i personally prefer perfumes i used to carry roller balls before but they don't really do too much for me and you can always find travel size fragrances anywhere zara has really good and amazing ones they also have roller balls as well you can use lip gloss wipes like i said earlier feminine wipes or baby wipes mint or chewing gum or a mouth spray blotting paper just in case you need to like touch up and remove the excess oils from your face and i also put in like a little hair brush they have like the small um pocket tissues they also serve as blotters for or blotting paper for your makeup as a girl is one of the most important things because you don't know exactly how your day is going to go what you're going to encounter where you're going to be your plans could change damn you could also go on a date you know so you always need some type of refresh kit fifth one i have seen a lot of debate about this on the internet and that is wearing house slippers people don't really see the need or essence of wearing house slippers and most people don't even know why they should now i'm going to give you guys the reason why it's important for me to be able to have that soft and smooth skin and feet you need to always protect your feet from the flat surface also no matter how clean your apartment is or no matter how clean you are the floor usually carries a lot of germs and bacteria and your feet always being on the floor is not good because those germs and bacteria obviously can get into your feet and i've heard this somewhere where they said like illnesses or sicknesses easily carried or transmitted from the feet to wherever and even if you're in your apartment it's clean you know your space you still work around your apartment with your feet touching the floor and with that feet you're actually going to climb your bed you have your toenails you also need to protect them you don't want germs fungus or fungi or whatever it's called from getting into your toenails and nothing again is temperature you know it switches like the ground could be cold or hot or whatever and when you're standing on the on the floor in your apartment like however it feels from your feet you feel it all over your body so if it's cold your feet is cold then you could also be cold like all over your body so just to retain that cozy feeling inside your house slippers okay. they are really cute ones i love slippers like i have like five of different fluffy nice slippers and i definitely recommend them now my sixth one did you know we have antiperspirant for feet yeah we do if you know you're going to be in a covered shoe all day you could just get the feet antiperspirant and spray it on your legs and just also spray it in your shoes and then you wear it and you're fresh the entire day if you have smelly feet or you have issues with you know your feet then you might want to check out the antiperspirant for feet also my next point is in line to feet and toes because i feel like we don't really talk about our legs so much what we focus on is our hands our face the part that people literally notice and pay attention to feet are ears and our belly buttons we usually leave them aside most of the time when we talk about personal and feminine hygiene that's the reason why there's a lot of feet talk in this video but yeah my next point is talk about your toenails now i recommend getting a pedicure at least once every two to three weeks same way you're going to get your nails changed every two weeks the same way you should take care of your toes your toenails and your feet you get a pedicure every two to three weeks maximum once a month and then also for your toenails give them some love show your toenails some love the same way you show your hands some love that people that they have the bomber sets 
ever like their nails are always done but their toes they are usually so insecure to show their toes because they probably have some chipped nail polish there that's been sitting there for like three months untouched right aside from getting your regular pedicure which is definitely definitely a necessity in your life especially in your feminine hygiene routine i recommend to get some type of clean polish on your toenails as well personally my toes are always french if they are not french then they're probably white occasionally once in a green moon i'll probably maybe throw in a color and the color is usually red or i'll just do like full-on nude but for the most part my toes are always done and i don't do my toes with polish like regular polish i do it with like the gel polish i don't put like actual gel or build or extensions on my toes i don't think that's really a clean look except it is very short now my eighth one is our natural hair so investing in a good shampoo and conditioner Dirty of us don't do much with our natural hair we just slap on a wig and we're out of the door but i relaxed my hair in december and when i made that change i decided to also invest and look into the products that i'm using for my natural hair because obviously i'm putting chemicals in my hair now so if i still want to have hair on my head i have to be mindful of the products that i'm using on the hair you know ones that cater to my kind of hair that you know would understand what they're doing and type of things i'm using those products on my hair plus shampoo plus protein treatment plus conditioner like really paying proper attention to what happens with my natural hair underneath my wigs we that will fall into this category of wig we always have to have cornrows and most people don't even pay attention to those cornrows i used to be guilty of this i could carry my cornrows till jesus himself comes down to beg me that please nay can you take that off and wash it right your cornrows under your wig should at least stay on your head for a good few weeks apart from cornrows and wigs we also have braids like the length of time you should carry your braids is four to six weeks anything more than that is becoming a criminal offense please let's be guided now the ninth thing on my list is probiotics if, if you've never heard of probiotics or incorporating probiotics into your diet and be conscious about it on a day-to-day -day, girl you're sleeping because probiotics are pretty much good bacteria for your body because obviously you know we have good bacteria and bad bacteria right these probiotics help with your body be healthy like they're good bacteria that help your body stay healthy be healthy strong and all that kind of stuff probiotics are good for gut health feminine feminine health as i'm pointing down you know what i mean we have probiotics in different forms obviously we have it in supplements and also we have it in foods i typically lean towards foods than the supplements although i have the probiotic supplements and i love to take it because obviously gut health issues and as well as feminine issues like ph balance bacteria good bacteria bad bacteria yeast all that kind of stuff probiotics it helps with that right i would definitely recommend that you lean towards getting probiotics from food rather than you would from the supplements but again if you're not good with like knowing the food to eat which to be honest for probiotics the food that you can eat that will give you natural probiotics or boost that in your body yogurt if you like kombucha soy milk apples olives you can be conscious of that and increase your intake of those particular foods so you're you know healthy and good have all these lady issues probiotics now the 10th thing on my list which is actually the last thing on my list for today is please change your makeup brushes but we talk about taking care of your skin smelling good using the skincare products to clear this hyperpigmentation blemishes blah, 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 blah. but you could be doing all of it but then still by yourself use your own hand to spoil the work that you've done by using a dirty brush or an old brush or a tool that has accumulated bacteria for so long throw it away and get a new one i think every month i have new makeup brushes to be honest and that's because honestly i get like the cheap ones because there are people who invest in like really expensive ones i personally don't because i know how often i change my brushes sometimes when you're taking care of your skin and it's not working you're not seeing results it probably is because you're using the wrong tools or your makeup brushes are dirty so you cleanse out your face from germs and bacteria and then take bacteria back from those makeup brushes or makeup tools into your face now that's pretty much everything i have in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed follow me on my social media platforms they are linked in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey